20 years ago, Abdelaziz Bouteflika was the source of change in an unstable Algeria. Today, the ailing 81-year-old president is being censured to have hindered any progressive change in the country. After over two weeks of protests on the Algerian street, demanding Bouteflika refrain from running for a fifth term, the people's requests have been heard. Let's take a look back at how all this started. In 1988, thousands took to the streets in central Algiers, storming into buildings and targeting then-ruling party, the FLN. The army declared a state of emergency. Within five days, 500 young men had been killed, with hundreds of others arrested. Then-President Shidli bin Jdid initiated reforms and introduced the country's first multi-party system. Soon after, in 1992, hopes shattered as the main party that benefited of the amended constitution was the Islamic Salvation Front. The army annulled the country's first multi-party legislative elections and banned the Islamic Salvation Front in 1992. Algeria lived a decade of violence that witnessed the killing of 200,000 people and the disappearance of thousands more at the hands of both the Islamists and the army. Bouteflika then came into power in 1999, ending Algeria's black decade and steering the country back to stability and economic growth. Despite multiple small-scale riots in 2010 and 2011, Algeria was spared from the ongoing protests in neighboring Tunisia, Libya and Egypt. Algeria's military and civilian elites, known as Le Pouvoir, were able to survive. By 2018, the country faced unemployment and financial crisis as a result of a collapse in oil revenues. Bouteflika has been incapacitated for most of his fourth term, and present at most public events. In preparation for the April 2019 presidential elections, Le Pouvoir were unable to agree on a successor, and Bouteflika was announced to run for a fifth term to ensure the regime's continuity. Algerians took again to the streets to protest Bouteflika's candidacy. The government shut down the country's 3G and 4G networks so that social media could not be used to encourage ever larger numbers of demonstrators. Then Prime Minister Ahmadou Yahya and Bouteflika praised the protesters for comporting themselves peacefully. Algeria's situation leaves the rest of the world in concern, as the country is a crucial energy source for Europe supplying one-third of its natural gas. Taking into consideration the prolonged factional fighting in neighboring Libya, civil unrest in Algeria would leave a broad swathe of North Africa unstable, with potential population flight posing challenges to its relatively stable neighbors, Tunisia and Morocco, as well as to Southern Europe. After weeks of protests, Bouteflika announced he will not run, postponed the April 18 elections, appointed a new prime minister and a new constitution to be submitted to voters in a referendum. Thousands took to the streets again to celebrate the new decisions, while others expressed their anger, saying it's a little too late. So, what's next for Algeria?